Right then, over there we've got Hinkley Point. That's one of the largest cranes in Europe, apparently. Just behind it there's a silver dome. There was this good documentary on TV the other week all about that dome and everything that they were doing and it doesn't look quite as hectic actually. They must have done an awful lot of digging, I think. It's probably all up to the electricians and people now, isn't it? Silos, they caught fire. Um, there's their pier. Yeah, it doesn't look quite hectic. I expect it is. Anyway, I'm out on the Quantox. I'm going straight up today. There is another path I quite often take. The plantation is over there. And quite often I take, I think it's called Ladies Walk or something. But today, no, I've decided to come up over the top and get some views from over here. Then head towards Bicknoller Hill and go back down. I'm not going to take any... Um, unusual diversions today but I am I, I am going to be in a very exposed area now you see that that hill over there in front of me now you think to yourself <coughs> excuse me when I get up there that's it it's not you'll see another hill after that it's very deceiving actually when you're out here I do like the other walk but I do like to take that much more leisurely. I'm more on a march today to try and fit stuff in. But uh, there's quite a few hills. <coughs> I keep getting the pollen in my throat and everything. <sighs> so all you've got to think of though, once I've done this hill here and the one just above in front of it, that's it for the hills. It's all downhill for the rest of the walk after that. No more hills. So we get this one out of the way. See the one round there doesn't do this bit. It goes in and out like that. But I haven't done this one for a while. I just came up through the El Fox and Park area. Over there, which is on last year's videos and before that, <coughs> are the memorial trees for the people of the lost in the Second World War in this area. They had to plant a load more. Now I've just inhaled a load of pollen or bracken or something went right down my throat. It's really uncomfortable. <coughs> I just do a little bit up here just to show you that I do do hills it's not made up I actually do these things you've always got your sceptics oh Sheila she just talks a little mumbo jumbo I'm sorry I actually do this I actually do this let's just have a look over there is that the trick point over there no it might be higher up actually yeah, I'm not going to go around Beacon Hill today. I feel it would take me away, and I, I don't think there's time. I don't think there's time at all. I'm on the third battery, you know. Oh. Like I say, I think you're up. Look, you're not. And even when you flatten out, you're not up. You'll see in a minute. You think, oh, honey, up there, I'll be at the top. No. So there's Hinkley Point. Over there. All in the news. Bristol Channel. Steep Home Island, 
Breen and Western Supermare right over that way. Sand Bay right over that way, which I'll probably visit this weekend. Right then, over and out. Right folks, another little video. Nice friendly people just walked by, said hi, and they're really sort of smiley and happy looking. Here's my beautiful Quantock Hills, everyone. Here it is. Here's my beautiful Quantock Hills. This is a much journey. I've done the worst of it now. I've done the worst of it, folks. And uh, all my combs are down there. I walked down through the combs earlier today and uh, I didn't do my usual slow meander two reasons one I'm, I'm confined to time by buses and trains um, the other is uh, I didn't need to do the I didn't feel I needed to sort of just lurk about I just wanted to be able to walk through there and feel the beauty and, and and know that I felt a part of the place and know that my spirit of my sister will be up in these hills very much so and I know my dad liked these hills because he brought us here when we were small children to play in the streams our schools brought us here and later in life when I had the time or even when my kids were small I would take them on shorter walks but we still they could still see all this beauty so they have been up here and George has been up here a lot she told me so I'm glad of that I, I'm really glad she's she's doing that sort of thing and um yeah unfortunately time Time. Oh, terrible thing, isn't it? I can't really risk the very last bus, you see, because I might miss the last train. I mean, we, we already broke down this morning on the bus, so if that were to happen again, I'd be stranded in Taunton. I don't think I've got any credit. I think I've just about got about a pound of, of credit on my phone. Um... I know that. Anyway, I'm really enjoying my, my day. It is going so fast. It really is. And I, I'm, like I said, I'm not meandering. I mean, I'm going uphill at the moment. Um, and I stop a lot and, and look. Even Hinkley Point doesn't look so hectic as it has over the past couple of years. It looks more reclaimed now, so once all the cranes go and the domes would just be like shiny silvery things in on top of the soil um, and the old ones would be taken down, it, it would blend into the landscape I think. It looked very messy, still does, but nothing like as bad. If I compared it to other photos, and I've actually been up close to it as well. Obviously, without my van, I can't tiptoe around all over there. There's no bus service. I can't, you know, it's more complicated for me. The only way is camping. It's the only way. But like I said, I mean, it's supposed to be lovely for the next four days. But I haven't prepared. I like to plan a bit. Um, I've had to put money aside for birthdays this year. But next year, it'll be a fallow year. Apart from Jack, who's 18. Um, that's like a special birthday. Um, everyone else will have to have the fallow as well. Well, I've, I've got plans for next year. Not just camping, but um, I want to go to Lincoln. And uh, I just need to go there. Family tree stuff and now Lincoln Cathedral, Castle, everything.
right, so we're nearly at the top. If this little video can just hang on. See where it's sort of flattish here and brownish? This is where they burn. It's got a special name, they do it once a year. It controls the... We control something and um, yeah, they, burn, they do some burning. It says, I think it does, it's good for the soil or something. So, as you can see, if you look back down now, how far I've come, and there was a steep bit the other side of that ridge, but I still had to come all up here. Dalper Hill Fort. Now this is my, this is the bit I like the most, all around here, this bit, this bit of the hills. I like it all, but this is my special bit here. This is my little Eden. I love it. Right, we're nearly coming to where we should, we should have panoramic views. Over and out for a minute. Right folks, right over there. There's a massive herd of cat, big beef cows. I'm not quite sure where they're heading. As long as I'm not, they're not going to head up my track here. I'm on a track. And I don't, there's a track there. I don't fancy them. See, they're moving along at a very, really, really steady pace. It depends where they're going to turn. There's a load of them, and they're running some of them, look! They're all running now! I, I did see a man or a woman on horseback. Whether that's the... Depends where they're coming. Imagine if I decide to go on that track and they start coming this way. Or I go up here and they start coming up here. It's hard to know where I, where I should go. Because they're going to be out of my view in a minute. I won't know which turn in to take. I don't know if they're going to sort of branch over here. I don't know. There's a load of them. There must be two or three hundred cows. But, I mean, they could come along here, or that I could find out in a minute they're coming along this track and they're going to come all over here eating. Oh, I'm a bit nervous now, thinking, well, am I going to bump straight into them? I won't really know until I get... See, cows do... It's either cat and that's horses. They're all out of view now, so which way are they going to go? Are they going to come along this track and start eating here? Big, big herd. Or are they going to go down Weecombe? Very difficult for me to know. They could easily come along here. They do follow tracks. I did see a, someone on a horse. They seem to have disappeared now. I won't really know. I could bump straight into this herd in a minute. I'll just have to go that way. I've got no idea where they're going. They've all moved on now, though, see? But depends where they're going. Over and out for a minute. 